wait, 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 wait. Before the video starts, I just want to say, go follow me over at DevonXScott on Instagram and I'm doing a new thing. Every time you comment on a new photo that I upload, you have a chance to be shouted out in one of these videos. So today's shout out is silverus.a. Huge shout out. Thanks for the comment. So yeah, go follow me on Instagram. Uh, yeah, let me get into the video now. So this is the Lenovo Z5 and the reason it warrants a video is because of the amount of phone you get for 240 US. So the phone is 240 US, if you want to check it out I'll leave it in a link below in the description. Uh, the one thing that stands out to me is the build quality and how beautiful they look. So the build quality on point, like as you hold it in your hands, like oh there's a premium phone. That's the way I feel. If I just had to feel it and guess the price, I think it, our other guess is like maybe 400, closer to the 400 to 500 price range. The look is basically an iPhone 10 copy, the whole front of the device, almost bezel-less display and a notch. Obviously the notch is not a feature, please stop doing it, the notch is not a feature. But have a notch and I have to say it's a very good looking phone, it's a very attractive phone. That gloss black in the back, it, it just looks real clean, I mean of course it's a fingerprint magnet but it just built and it's look like a premium phone. Another reason I like it is it very, very, very close to stock Android. And you know me with Android, anything close to stock Android, I am game. Uh, USB-C uh, cameras. Uh, let me talk about the cameras a little bit. The camera, good. Again, keep in mind that you're paying 240 US for it. The camera, good, but it's take a little while to focus. If you're accustomed to using like a flagship phone, you'll definitely notice the drop in like focus time with the camera quality. So that's something to keep in mind. But once you focus properly, once you touch the focus and you get the photo focus, it's a very good camera. I'll leave some samples around here now. About using the phone when I had it, uh, one thing I noticed, it have a little bit of lag here and there when you're opening apps, especially like if you open five apps at a time and then you go to open the sixth one, you see a little, it's not really lag, it's more frame drops in the animation of the phone itself. But I mean, you're paying 240 US for a phone that looks absolutely beautiful and it feels real good in the hand. I mean, expect a little frame drops and lags here and there. It's 240 US, which is like, uh, if my math correct, uh, I don't know. I don't know. A little close to 1800, I guess. I just, I just ballparking it. Don't laugh at my math skills. But yeah, I think it was, a, I, I don't even know why I'm making this video. I, even, I don't even know how long this video is going to be. I just wanted to let you all know that it exists and you can check it out if you want the Lenovo Z5. It's a very nice looking Android phone for a ridiculously good price. So, but this is a fully functional smartphone with a very nice display, a very nice look, a premium build, a fingerprint sensor, a reasonably good camera, eh, and you pay 240 US for it. So this video is basically, I didn't even plan this video, I just sit on here to let you all know that the Lenovo Z5 exists. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it below in the description. Budget phones actually gain seriously like like real good right now so yeah that's pretty much it thanks so much for watching i just want to let you all know well i forget how to talk let you all know that the z5 exists you should check it out i'll leave a link below in the description if you're looking for a budget phone it's a good option don't forget instagram at devonxscott follow me over there and leave comments on the photos in order to get shout out in the videos right here thanks so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one